So, can we build a canal with a vanilla lock gate in this dry grassland scene? Only one way to find out. Welcome to City Skylines. Come here now, girl. Hi, I'm Bon Bon B, you're very, very welcome. And today we're in St. Catherine's Point looking at this grassy plain here with a ridge running along the middle, which means that when we build our canal, well, it's got to go downhill rather rapidly. And uh, well, boats don't like that. Now to uh, change elevation of boats, we use locks on canals, only uh, locks aren't a part of the game. So we're gonna do something a little bit creative today. Well, first thing we're going to do is we're going to build an elevated highway, choose a wide road like this, and we'll use uh, move it to clone what's a couple of the bridge pillars, one there, and put one alongside it. And these are going to be these are going to be once cloned and multiplied. These are going to be the gates of the lock. See that? And there we are. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to clone them at different levels as well, just to make them wider all the way down to the base to the ground level. So what gave me the idea for this? Well, two words, Mr. Miyagi. Yes, he was asking on one of the Facebook forums, is it possible to make locks within the game? Well, I've got a straightforward answer to that. As you can see, the answer is, well, no, it's not. It's just not possible. This is a simply an aesthetic detailers build going on here. Uh, if you want to recreate this, feel free. And if you can find a way of doing this better, great, let me know. Stick it in the comments. I will be glad to hear it and even have a look at your work, of course. What we're going to do here is we're going to move these gates. If I can grab them all in one sitting, it's uh, a lot of fails going on. Like with anything, when you're trying to do something creative, there's going to be a lot of fails going on. I'm going to plop these in the middle of these two canals which overlap. Now, the overlapping I hoped was going to stop the water flow so that we can have water at two different levels. Unfortunately, the only thing that appears to stop water flow is terrain. And having a big block of land between the two, it's just not going to work, unfortunately. Uh, using bridge pillars here, by the way, these are going to be the lever arms that swing the gates or pretend to swing the gates. We're using imagination here, guys. Have you got imagination? I hope, I hope you've got some imagination. So we'll do those. And also my favorite, my elevated paths have these long dowel type. And I'm gonna use these like as a, uh, uh, there you go, big old screws to hold these arms in place. Still a lot of detailing to go here yet. So uh, hopefully it'll make a lot more sense later on. It's also going to be a mechanical gate. Uh, I know a lot of gates are actually manual, but uh, I wanted to do something slightly more urban. And uh, so we've got that and also some paths that aren't aligned at ground level. I'm failing so badly in life, not just in the city skylines, in life, of course. So yes, uh, we are going to be using uh, the, these are park life, um, uh, park life, What's the word? Paths. Paths is the word I'm looking for. And I'm going to elevate it uh, above the uh, the gates there, just to hide all the uh, all the linking up of those pillars and look a little bit better. And I'm going to spend the next, oh, it was countless time, trying to get these paths to line up in a way that I was happy with. Uh, the intention here was to actually have these paths look like uh, they were, first of all, obviously at ground level, but the elevated sections will actually swing with the gates when the lock opens and closes. That's the intention. Um, it's, I think it comes out all right in the end. There's, uh, there's a lot of work to get to that point. But uh, yeah, at this time, at this time, it's not going to make an awful lot more sense to you until we get to later on in the uh, in the build. So yes, even though these these locks are um, dead ended, even if I even if you build them short of each other, say a few yards in between where they don't even connect, the water will still flow through which was very disappointing because I was hoping that that was going to be the way I could control the water levels. Sadly, this isn't going to be the case. 
And also, sadly, because I know a lot of you are going to say, hang on, hang on, there should be another set of lock gates a bit further up. Yeah, I don't have all day to be building lock gates for you guys. I could clone the entire thing, I'm sure. But uh, yes, it was all about creating just a scene and then giving you ideas of how to create something uh, like this in your own city builds. And just to show you what's possible with the vanilla assets, of course. So yes, I'm just uh, trying to get these. Trying to pick single props and move them is proving to be my downfall in today's show. It does come out in the end. There it is. I, I've decided to elevate it and then I tried to delete it and it just disappeared. I couldn't work out where it went until much later. You may notice later on. When you, when you see it, let me know. But uh, I did find it eventually. <laughs> anyways so yes this elevated section again we're going to drop this down here i don't want it actually um at ground level i wanted it to actually have that sort of like drop right at the end so it's finding the balance uh finding fine fine-tuned balancing act for both of those but yes you could use any path you like for this one i just liked the uh the park life one because it has that kind of like wet um, grassy, no, not grassy, like um, mossy kind of feel to it, which kind of made a lot of sense. And it also looked old, and this is wanted to look like an old industrial lock. So um, that kind of fed into the aesthetic as well. I was just quite pleased with uh, with all of it. And the paths look, of course, muddy alongside of the lock. It's, it just, it all made a lot of sense. Now I'm going to be using some detailing here. Uh, these are uh, typing in post into uh into find it came up with these uh i think these to do with traffic normally oh there's that pillar <laughs> yes we'll get rid of them in a minute but also i wanted to show a, a dividing line down the middle of the path as well i want it to look like these paths would actually open now how was i gonna do that what vanilla asset would form a dividing line down the middle of this bridge well the swing set the vanilla swing set in yellow. There is yellow also, a great color for hazards, so tripping hazards. And I plop them in there and we're gonna lower them in once I've managed to finally get both of them and get them down to a decent level. There we go at, uh, I think that looks amazing personally. I was, <laughs> of the whole build, that's the one thing I was most proud of actually managing to get the, uh, the swing sets. I just want it elevated slightly and they're yellow there for a reason so that you don't trip over them. But yes, I wanted to mark out that center point as the, uh, that's where the bridge would separate when the lock opens. There, lovely. I've uh, got these uh, wooden slats I didn't realize actually came loose from the uh, from the bridge. So that's amazing. Also, we could do stuff with that separately. Uh, but uh, for this build there, I'm quite happy to use them like that. And that manages to hide some of the cracks in the ground as well. Okay, now, uh, next thing, uh, industrial. I wanted this to actually have an industrial mechanism to get it swinging to and fro, so like uh, diesel generators and all that kind of thing. So um, just basically typed in industrial into in to find it and found these lovely little small one by one industrial units. Uh, they will need power and water if you're going to be using them alongside and of course access to, uh, to fire and oh, emergency services. But um, just for an aesthetic build, especially if you play with all the mods and switch all of these things off, you won't really it won't bother you, I'm sure. Anyway, going to use a couple of these. These are the vanilla keys. Yeah, you would have thought I'd be using vanilla keys a lot more for a water build, wouldn't you? But no, not so. Uh, and yeah, just cut down to a block size there. And then we're going to duplicate and clone them and just pop them in a little bit lower. Again, mostly just to hide a little bit of blue mantle that might be tucked in underneath there. Now I'm going to get these industrial, industrial blocks. I want to get them down to about the same level and I noticed a little bit of terrain glitching through from the side, uh, which I'm going to use just a bit of vanilla path alongside it to force that down to uh, to ground level. And now we don't have the glitching, we just move the path in where it's just tucking tucked over around behind the back there. Lovely. And then we'll do the same over here. Use vanilla path, push that up against the edge. That does the job nicely. And uh, we'll pop the industrial unit alongside there and clone it in against the side of that concrete block so it looks like that's where the power is coming in and uh, all the machinery is inside that concrete block to get the whole thing swinging that's the thought anyway 
<laughs> Whether you're buying into this or not, do let me know into the comments. I'm I'm liking it. I know it's not strictly not strictly uh, an accurate build, but uh, it's uh, it's all a little bit of uh, creativity. This is how I see it. Um, I've I've I have travelled on the canals um, a few times. Not recently, mind you, but I have, and uh, I have operated manual locks. I just wanted to produce something, and I managed at this point, and on the opposite side as well, <laughs> I managed to demolish my industrial units. Well done, Bomb Bomb. Yeah, wait for it. He's going to do it on the other side, side as well. Just give him a minute. He'll, he'll do that. He'll do it twice. He's so good, he did it twice. <laughs> Anyways, yes, yeah, so just bringing the, uh, the footpath down so that you can walk down to the towpath on the opposite side as well. Towpath, there you go. I didn't expect to be using the word towpath today. Or is it two words? Towpath. Yeah, it might be. Anyway, <laughs> yes, we're going to clone the industrial unit across the opposite side again so that we have one on either side. I think that looks pretty good. I think that looks pretty good indeed. Right, we'll do a little bit more detailing as well. Going to grab some trees, uh, just some that are uh, lying around here. And again, using Move It to clone these in, uh, dot them around, and just uh, give a little bit. Of, this is literally just for the uh, the screenshot aesthetics. I wouldn't uh, I, I wouldn't advise just doing this randomly. <laughs> this what I'm doing right now is pretty random, just so I can get some a nice thumbnail for the uh, for the video once it's produced. I think that looks okay. We'll grab some of these tufty bits of uh, foliage as well. Clusters of bushes there. Very tidy. A few down here as well. And uh, yeah, now you may say, Bon Bon, you've forgotten something. And I go, what's that? And you say, the water. Ah, yeah, the water's coming. Don't worry. The water is coming. And again, this is not going to stop. The water was just going to flow straight through these gates, but that is going to be fine. Uh, we can say there's a little bit of a crack uh, between the gates and the water is just flooding through like that. But uh, yeah, there's nothing, unless you can know a better way of stopping the water, which uh, please educate me so I can educate others uh, back again. Uh, that little concrete block, I do believe, was from the pillars holding up the bridge, which I should really have deleted. You can uh, see them from the back side of the uh, of the lock when we when we do the fly through at the end, and uh, just uh, going to stretch the canal out so the water's got somewhere to go. That water's going to start flooding through now. So yes, as you'll notice, even though these canals uh, are aren't connected, the water's just going straight through them, and there's nothing we can do. So right, uh, we are. Uh, we'll just take a little little fly. So I'm just going to switch the. Uh, the canal height up just a little bit there um, i'm pretty happy with that pretty happy all told so now down to a real speed now i'll have a little look around at some of the detailing that we've got in place here you can see the water flowing underneath the lock gate uh, i have seen this happen not quite to that extent in in real life so um yeah water pouring through under the gate yeah not that much but it'll do it will do fine uh, then we've got uh, the, uh, the the operating mechanisms there to work the gates. Um, we probably need some levers or something to make it look more realistic. To but I, I I couldn't find anything like that. Then you have of course the um, oh this needs to be elevated a bit more. We've got a bit of glitching through with the canal. So yes, and also uh, this this um, <laughs> this screw bolt thing here I think it needs to be moved slightly so that it's not actually going through the uh, through the fence but uh, that's something that uh, if I had a little bit more time to work on this one I would probably do but yes I was I was toying with doing it on camera then I'd, no I've done plenty of work you can see what the overall gist is and then of course you yeah, had the swings in the middle there causing those yellow barriers uh, just a little bit of extra detailing on the path there and then we've got a little elevated and again we've got the uh the rails cutting through there so that just needs a little bit of extra work on the detailing but uh, i think you get the overall view around the back you can just see the pillars uh from the from the uh the actual yeah they need to be removed as well but it doesn't look too bad like that either to be honest with you i'm almost inclined to leave them in place and that's about it. So that is a uh, industrial lock made by or lock gate made with vanilla assets. Ideally, there should be another one a little bit further up because lock gates always come in pairs or more. But uh, that is going to have to do because we literally um, 
Well, we've come to the end of today's show. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, for commenting, for liking, and for subscribing. Do let me know in the comments if you've got any feedback about this. This would be great. Uh, if you want to join me over on patreon.com forward slash bonbonb and become a bonbon buddy, it'd be great to have you over there. And we'll talk more about detailing and stuff uh, away from the masses because I like a little bit of intimacy, just a little bit. Anyway, that's it. Thank you very much. I've been Bomb Bombi. You've been very, very welcome. Join me Monday to Saturday for What's Map, where we try and find you the best map for your next city build and more tutorials on the way soon. Thanks for watching. <laughs>